now let's talk about a very, very interesting plant, the Parasitaxis usta. This is the Parasitaxis usta. I did talk about it very, very briefly yesterday in my biomes video. It is endemic to the islands of New Caledonia in Oceania. And this guy is the only type of conifer or coned plant that we've discovered thus far that is parasitic. The lineage of the Parasitaxis usta goes back very, very far. There's fossil evidence suggesting that these guys first evolved around the Jurassic period. But if there were more members of this lineage, these guys are the only surviving ones. These guys are always found attached to the root system of another type of conifer that is also endemic to New Caledonia and thus is not capable of survival without being attached to that other plant. They attach themselves to the roots during growth and are capable of sucking nutrients from the roots of the host conifer into their own plant. However, there is also evidence that these guys have a relationship with the mycorrhizal fungus as well. Lots of plants do have a symbiotic relationship with mycorrhiza, which is a specific type of fungus that is capable of dredging up a lot more nutrients than the plant would be capable of getting on its own. So the plant root systems form this relationship with those fungus that benefits both the plant and the fungus, and it's likely that even though these guys are parasites, they do have a relationship with the mycorrhizal fungus as well, in addition to getting a lot of their nutrients from the host plant. Now, another unique feature is... Even though I said that these guys are not capable of photosynthesis, and they're not, they still do possess chloroplasts. However, this plant is very much not green, so those chloroplasts are pretty non-functional. Overall, this plant is incredibly unique in multiple ways, being the only parasitic conifer, but also still having chloroplast, but also having a relationship with fungus, and a few other things that scientists are still kind of confused about how this guy actually works.